video we are going to discuss an important machine learning interview question this is also one of the favorite interview topics for our interviewers now the question is explain the ensemble techniques in machine learning and the ensemble techniques we know are bagging boosting and stacking then compare between these three techniques and understand the pros and cons pros and cons okay so let us first understand what bagging means bagging primarily means bootstrapped aggregation bootstrapped aggregation bootstrapping is a technique to create subsets from a data set okay and bagging works by majority voting say in a classroom the teacher wants to select the class monitor or the class leader the teacher takes the vote from each of the students in the class and decides based on the person who receives the majority voting this is the principle behind bagging it is similar to the electoral democracy in india okay one of the algorithms under bagging is random forest okay hope this this is uh, understandable to you that majority voting is the primary technique behind bagging next is the boosting boosting works by sequential training models sequential training of models on errors generated from earlier model it is like model m1 is trained on d1 generating error e1 now this e1 will be used to generate the model and create another error e2 and so on and so forth we shall see in a while based on the pictorial representation how the three techniques compare between them okay now let us understand stacking stacking combines multiple models multiple models and the output of each model is used as features to the meta model okay now this is how stacking works stacking primarily combines multiple models and output of each of the model is fed to a meta model right A and before that let us also see the example of boosting so example of boosting is gradient boosted decision tree okay hope you are able to understand the three techniques here this this is very simple to understand and now once we go through the pictorial representation you have a clear understanding of how the three techniques differ from each other let, let us create some notations here okay we will denote any machine learning model ml model say decision tree as m1 any other model say knn as m2 logistic regression m3 and so on and so forth you can take any machine learning model here just understand that each m1 denotes just one type of machine learning models m2 denotes another type of machine learning models and so on and so forth our entire data d is broken down into subsets d1 d2 d3 and so on so forth okay using this notation let us understand pictorially the three types of ensemble techniques bagging so in bagging you have a model m1 we train it on d1 we have the same type of model m1 train it on d2 m3 train it on d3 and so on and the outputs of each of these are aggregated now this aggregation could be mean median for regression could be majority voting for classification okay and you will get the output y 
now for boosting you have a model m1 this model is trained on the entire data d and you have the errors generated e1 these are the errors now these errors are passed to the same type of models m1 again train it on the date on you train it on e1 now and get e2 and so on and so forth until until you get y right so boosting works sequentially here the third type of models that we have the stacking stacking combines multiple different types of models m1 m2 m3 so on now each of these model could be trained on the subset or the entire data set and the output of each are passed to a meta model say mm this is the meta model trained on d to generate y this is how it works these are the inputs that are passed to the meta model and you get the output y right now, now you have a clear picture of what are the three different types of models how they differ from one another now let us un understand the pros and cons of each of these models now because bagging is based on the idea of aggregation it reduces variance so it is primarily used to correct overfitting okay this is one of the primary advantages or pros now boosting is used to reduce bias since you are training iteratively to re on the errors generated you are reducing the bias and therefore correcting underfitting underfitting stacking is used in primarily in competitions since it is a versatile model you can use combine the strengths of multiple machine learning models multiple machine learning techniques and apply them to get significantly good results okay now we need to talk about the time complexity since bagging can be each of the individual models of the bagging is trained on the separate or independent data sets you can train them in parallel therefore it has lower time complexity boosting on the other hand has to run sequentially right from the output generated of the previous model therefore the time complexity in this case is high for the case of stacking this depends on the models chosen chosen okay and you can run the various individual models in stacking independently as well now the space complexity okay since you know that in bagging you are training multiple models on on different set data sets parallelly therefore you need to have all of them loaded into the memory and therefore high space complexity boosting on the other hand has to store only one model and correspondingly one set of data therefore it has lower space complexity stacking on the other hand need to store the output from the multiple models and use them in your meta model therefore it also has higher space complexity but not as high as compared to your bagging okay these are the three primary differences between bagging and bagging boosting and stacking now one of the things that we talked about when we discussed when we discussed about the graphical representation of the three models we saw under bagging and boosting we are repeating the same type of models or same set of models say for example if you are using logistic regression so you combine multiple logistic regressions together however in the case of stacking you can use or you can combine multiple machine learning models for example you can combine logistic regression with decision trees with knn and this gives you versatility therefore bagging is based on homogeneous models boosting too is based on homogeneous models whereas stacking can work with heterogeneous models and this is what makes them incredibly powerful now 
Hope you have a clear understanding of the differences between bagging, boosting, stacking. At the same time, you understand which model to use when. If you have high variance, then you should go for bagging. If you have high bias, then you should go for boosting. If you want to combine the strengths of multiple models together, then go for stacking. Now, one of the major challenges in using ensemble techniques, and that is why you cannot apply them in all your machine learning models, right? You saw that they are incredibly powerful, but they have a certain challenge which restricts their use to limited type cases. One of the primary things about ensembling is interpretability. Their interpretability is low. You see, when you are combining multiple models, their complexity goes high and therefore interpreting them becomes difficult. It, the other thing about them is probabilistic outputs. When you need probabilistic outcomes, then ensemble techniques are not the favorable choices. Okay, because the probabilistic outcomes in combining multiple models doesn't give you a very good picture there. So these are the two primary challenges in using ensemble techniques so with this hope you have now a clear picture of the ensemble techniques and have a successful interview experience if you like the video make sure to give it a thumbs up see you in the next lecture have a nice day bye bye jai hind